guys what's up and welcome back to another video i hope you guys are doing great in today's video i'm going to be fixing this not so pretty slime that i made i think a year ago or maybe even two years ago and i'm basically going to be giving it a makeover and i'm gonna try to transform this into something cute i hope that you guys enjoy the video if you do enjoy it be sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you are new to my channel and if you could maybe click that subscribe button that would be so so awesome before we do go ahead and get started i want to give out a huge shout out to my notification squad thank you guys so much for your comments and if you aren't part of the notification squad all you have to do is turn on your post notifications and leave me a comment down below to be featured in my next video. And now without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. Okay guys, this is a slime that we're going to be fixing today. As you can see, it's pretty bad and it looks kind of gross. So this was basically a glossy slime in which I added these like heart-shaped foam pieces inside. Um, it didn't really work out that well and now that it's been like two years I think, it has completely melted and like the foam pieces are like so soggy so I went ahead and I removed those out of the slime. I'm gonna pour the slime into a bowl and give it a good mix because the acrylic paint and glue have separated. And now I'm going to reactivate the slime. The slime did feel a bit rubbery, so I added some body lotion into it. Now that I've kind of fixed the slime, it is time to give it a makeover. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is add a bunch of acrylic paint into it. And I'm doing this because I want to lighten up the color of the slime so that I can change it into different colors. So the paint is going to kind of help that process. I'm basically going to be making three different slimes in this video. So what I'm going to do right now is divide the slime into two equal parts. The first half I'm going to turn into a butter slime by adding in some Daiso clay. I'm going to turn this butter slime into two different colors so I'm going to be doing pink and purple and this is basically going to be like one slime because I'm going to be like swirling both of the colors together. I have both of the colors of the slime and now I'm going to take both of them and like swirl them together to get this very beautiful marble effect. I'm gonna pop the slime into a container and start decorating. So here I have some pink, white and purple sprinkles and I'm also going to add this unicorn cake charm on top. So this was the slime before the makeover. As you can see, it looks pretty bad. And here it is after. I really love how this slime turned out. It's so pretty and like magical. So 
So I've completed the first slime. Now I'm going to take the remaining half of the slime and I'm going to add some glue all into it. And this is going to make the slime super, super thick. It's going to make it very clicky and we're basically going to get the best bubble pops. So here you can see I'm adding some more glue and I'm also adding in more acrylic paint into it because I really want to lighten up the color because I'm going to be making a green colored slime. So I need like a very light base so that I can turn it into green. And now again, I'm going to divide this slime because I will be making two different slimes. So using the first half, I am going to make a cloud slime. So here I have some instant snow in which I'm going to add some water. And then I'm going to start dipping the slime into the snow until I get a super fluffy and drizzly slime. Like I was saying, I wanted to turn one slime into green, so here I have my slime in which I'm adding some green food coloring. I've popped my slime into a container and I'm going to be adding these uh, flower shaped sprinkles and I'm also going to be adding this really cute llama charm on top. So this was the slime before the makeover and here it is after. I love this charm, it's so so cute and overall I love this green color. I've never really made a slime like this before I think or I could be wrong but I really love this slime. So two slimes are done, now for the third one. So I have the remaining slime and all I'm gonna do is add some black food coloring into it. This black food coloring stained my hands so, so badly. Um, but if you ever stain your hands, all you have to do is wash your hands using toothpaste and that will remove any stain. This was the slime before the makeover and here it is after. I did add some glitter on top and I think it looks amazing. And that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next one.